Welcome today to Meet Our Founders, our series of episodes where we interview some entrepreneurs who share their experience about like, the challenges they are facing and the advice they have to give to other founders. Today, I'm glad to be with Enrique Romeo de Campos, who is co-founder of Brazu. First of all, we would like to know a little bit more about yourself. Uh, so can you briefly introduce yourself, tell us where you're from and where you're located right now? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Enrique, how Adrian said. I am a Brazilian, I am 22 years old. And now I am Brazil, but I'm moving to Chile. And my CTO is in Korea right now because we are running two accelerators program at the same time. Uh, so I am an entrepreneur because I'm from a family of entrepreneurs. And I learned since I am a child that entrepreneurship is the best way to change a, a family's life, you know. Thank you for this introduction. Uh, maybe you can start by explaining what is Brazu. For sure, for sure. Brazu is a design tech and we develop software to increase productive for motion designers initially. So we have a design tools ecosystem and we can we can integrate our software inside the professional software that designers use nowadays and we make the workflow sim simple, you know? So uh, I don't know if you ever used a uh, professional design software, but you have a lot of buttons. You don't know how to start. And what we do, we simplify the, the buttons inside this professional software and we make the designers more productive to, to create more videos and to uh, create more arts. I saw like you are working like on After Effects, but is it only on After Effects or, or also on Premiere Pro or on other software? And can you maybe explain what is After Effects for people who don't know? Yeah, for sure. Like. Uh, in our industry, we have the biggest player that is Adobe, and Adobe has like the biggest softwares that we use nowadays. Uh, Premiere Pro, for example, is for video editing, but After Effects is for post post production. We started our company uh, with post production, and now we have uh, plugins for After Effects, so we can integrate with After Effects. But our goal is to have like uh, solutions for all kinds of platforms that we are using as professionals nowadays. Um, can you speak a little bit more about the beginning of uh, Brazu? How did it start it? And what problem are you trying to solve? Can you explain us more in detail? Okay, for sure. Uh, everything started with my CTO, that is my co-founder. And before being my co-founder and before being a CTO, he was a motion designer. Uh, just to clarify what is a motion design is, everything that you see in Instagram or in the social networks that has movement and is edited uh, is motion. So everything that is moving in your cell phone, for example, is motion design. And he was a motion designer. And he worked at like five years abroad. And he was working for uh, foreign companies. And we are from Brazil, so he was earning dollars. But he realized that a lot of things that he was doing for his clients were really repetitive. And he thought, oh, OK, if I learn how to automatize these things, I could be more productive. But he was thinking just by himself, you know, to make him more productive and to earn more money because our industry, we have a lot of freelancers, you know. But when he developed uh, and, he, and he started to learn how to code just to develop uh, something to make him more productive. And when he finished the first raw version, he presented to a few friends and they were crazy with the solution, you know, because it's really complex to create professional videos uh, without taking hours and hours editing the video, you know. And because of this, this was the first version, was a beta version. And like our goal was to sell like, uh, 20 licenses in 30 days and in less than one week we sold over 200 licenses wow. you know? and okay. stopped the, the development and said okay we're going to stop the sales now and to develop a, a better version of our product and when we launched again in March uh, in in May of 2022 uh, we started to sell a lot you know like uh, and in six months of sales we had more than 4,100 customers and it was around, I don't know, 60, 70 K dollars, you know. Now, let's say like uh, I pay for one uh, subscription of uh, Brazil for one year. 
Uh, but let's say I'm a total beginner. I know nothing about After Effects or Premiere Pro. Uh, do you have some resources for me who don't know anything to help me uh, to begin with uh, uh, the software and also like the plugin or other, or your other tools? Yeah, this is a really good question because like what we say, we say that Brazil is a design tools ecosystem because we don't just give the, the tool but we also have a really strong community, designer community, and also educational platform. So we have a lot of classes and teaching how to use our solution, but also how to use After Effects, for example. So yes, if you are a total beginning, you can start in the designer life just using Brazil, you know? That's great, I think, to have uh, some resources to help uh, for, for the beginners. Um, my next question is around like your entrepreneur journey. What were the biggest challenges you faced while building Brazu and how did you overcome them? Okay, this is another good question. The thing is that we built Brazu bootstrap in Brazil, you know, so we never received any investment because like before working in Brazil, I was working a recruitment selection consulting. And I was hiring a lot. I, I am a recruiter, you know, so I was hiring a lot of developers for big companies in inside Latin America. And one month to another one, I saw a lot of devs that I was hiring being laid, laid off, you know. So I saw the, the startup ecosystem like melting down and a lot of laid offs. And I, I when I created Brazil, I told my co-founder like, bro, Let's do the things by ourselves and we will just fundraise when we uh, we have a really clear vision and how to use the money to grow, you know? So it's really hard to, to bootstrap a company, you know? So uh, Brazil has a little bit more than one year right now and we have more than $100,000 in sales. And this is the main thing that uh, make us alive, you know? So... Uh, this mm -hmm. is a really good challenge, but also is our biggest, uh, uh, our biggest achievement as well. You know that is we are bootstrapping a company. We have more than one hundred thousand dollars in revenue in Latin America, so our currency is weaker than in Europe or in United States. And now that we are like really in the right path, and we discovered how to build what we are building. Now we are starting our next round to fundraise and to bring like the right investors by your side. Uh, let's speak about some lessons you can give to other founders. Uh, what are the most valuable lessons you've learned during uh, your entrepreneurial journey uh, and that you can give to other startup founders? Okay. Like I will try to run, run a little bit from the cliche, you know, so like start with a pain and like build something that the people really will use. But like the thing and the, 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 the advice that I can give is if you really want to be an entrepreneur and if you really want to, to create a company, be aware that will be harder than you really think. And you're going to have a lot of cha challenges to, to face. And if you are not prepared enough, go to the market, learn with other people money and work in a company to learn. Then you can go and create your own startup, you know? Uh, so we know like building a startup is a tough journey and it usually requires a lot of stakeholders to get a successful startup on the ground. So who are the people that uh, you would say startup founders should know in Brazil or in Chile? Yeah, I will try to clusterize a little bit. So not just talking about Brazil or Chile, but talking about World Wild. If you are a, a student entrepreneur and you are still in college, I really suggest you to apply to Start Fellowship. That is a Swiss accelerator, is active free, and they really support you to internationalize your company and to create your solution inside uh, this Switzerland ecosystem, but you're gonna be in the middle of Europe, you know? So the managing director of this accelerator is Max Bieri, and he is a really nice guy, he's a really, close friend of mine as well so i drop my linkedin also if you want to uh, if you guys that are seeing this want a connection you can just drop me a message there and i do the intro and talking about the switzerland ecosystem if you are a college uh, uh, student entrepreneur i will start with this 
But if you are in Brazil, for example, uh, we have really great names that are building the future here in Brazil. For example, Rodrigo Tognini, he is an alumni of iCombinator and he is in the FinTech world ecosystem. But we, all, we also have Thales Gomes, for example, that is like a serial entrepreneur here in Brazil and he is really strong. Now he's the founder of G G4 Education that is uh, ad tech for entrepreneurs, how to create your skill set to, to be a founder. Uh, talking about Chile, that is the, the country that I'm going to live right now. I really uh, suggest you to be close to Startup Chile. That is the biggest uh, Latin America accelerator. And they also are active free. And as Brazil, we received 31K, $31,000 from them. And they have an extension round to receive more 30K in the program that we are. And also they are active free. So uh, be aware of these programs that are active free because you can like uh, really go further without uh, selling your equity. Uh, if you're talking about Asia, for sure you guys know Key Startups. It's a great opportunity to uh, Key Startups Challenge. It's a great opportunity to interna internationalize your company in the Asia market and being like a Latin America company as we are, it's really difficult to get in this market. And we are seeing this opportunity to really uh, understand how we can approach the, the Asian market. But like, I, I think that I, I know a lot of names. If you want me to say more more people, uh, I don't know, like Alfredo Soares, he's a really strong sales guy here in Brazil. He also is partner of G4 Education. Um, Milton, Milton Daré, he is my former boss in the recruitment selection consultancy and he is like a beast in recruitment selection for startups to hire developers and C-levels for example and he also is the, the founder of FEA Angels that is one of the biggest angel investors uh, institutions here in Brazil so that's it I think <laughs> I think it's a lot of name. It's a lot of advice. And thank you very much for all of, all of this. Uh, so now I have a question about like your future plans uh, for for Brazil. Um, are there any up upcoming milestone or initiatives that you're particularly excited about? Yeah, I'm really excited about like, as I told you, Brazil is a design tools ecosystem. But our goal is to be a dev design tool, bringing the design side with the development side as well. And our next product will be a dev tool. And my CTO is in Korea to create this product. He already know the basis and how to, to develop the crazy idea that he had. And we're going to validate in the Korean market and we're going to start from Korea. But uh, being explained in a simple way, uh, it's really difficult to, to convert animations into coding, you know? So what we do is like we do it really fast without, uh, just with a, a button, we're going to receive your CSS code animating the animation that your design sent to you or the F animated F SVG, you know? So we are going to the development side as well and connecting just not just the designers but the developers as well the front end developers um also i saw uh, that you are working on implementing some ai some ai tools and maybe you can speak about this one and also like some products that you are excited or anything like this nice nice that's another good question but like the thing is that in your industry, in the design industry, if you don't adapt yourself, you're going to die. Simple and clear, you know? And AI is a huge movement that you need to adapt yourself because all the companies are following this path. The thing is that we have a strong and really strong data set. And we also believe that if you just, if you are just creating AI just to say that you have a cool feature, you won't make it, you know? So you need to have a really strong data set with your own private data to create your own machine learning model to, to give to your clients something that has a really great value, you know? So the thing is that we are doing, we are taking all the data set, all the animations, all the videos that were created with Brazil, feeding a machine learning model to deliver AI inside the professional softwares, but also 
in the development tool that I told you. So the thing is that in the future, you're going to just type and receive really cool animations. No, you won't need to, to make the design by yourself. And we really strong believe in that. And that's the movement that uh, we are leading here in Latin America with Brazil. And now we are going to Asia to do the same thing that we are doing here in, in the Latin America. Nice. Um, I have a last question. How do you envision Brazil making a positive impact on this industry and also on the society? Great. That's another good question. Uh, like, as I told in the beginning, like our industry is really marked with a lot of freelancers. And if you're a freelancer, you need to be productive because if you product more, if you create more, you're going to receive more money, you know? So we see Brazil as like the right arm, the right hand of the designers, increasing their life quality and increasing their revenue, their personal revenue, you know, because if we give the power for the designers to create the, the things that they want to create six times faster, it's because like they can increase their revenue as well and they can give a better life quality for their families. And as we make the things really simple for to create a professional video, we have even we even have like some examples inside our customer base. As a for example, Jean, he's a tetraplegic guy, and he lost all the movements of his arms and legs. And he was a artist. He was a tattoo artist, but. He was really sad because after he became a tetraplegic, he was really lost and he didn't know how to, to go to the next level, you know? And he found in your solution, the way to be and to continue being uh, an artist, but in the digital world, you know? And he can create really amazing videos with our solution, just with the movements of his fingers, you know? So this is the life a changing experience that we are having having an e startup because I truly believe that creating an e startup is not just about money, you know. Money is just like a, a thing that you're gonna receive if you are doing the things right. But if you are changing the lives of the people and you are creating solutions that really solve a real strong pain in the market, you're gonna thrive, you know. You just need to be persistent and you need to have patience to wait and go and hustle to to conquer your space, you know. Amazing feedback, amazing response. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Enrique, for sharing your experience and your and presenting Brazil, a solution to accelerate the creation of professional motions for a variety of tools, as you told us, including AI tools and plugins for After Effects and more. Thank you for your time, and it was a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much. The pleasure was mine.